good day good evening uh welcome to the lesson of today and i want us to go through a nice paper here that i've gotten from somewhere and uh if you can go through this paper these are a kcp 50 trial standard 8 a combat paper 006 and uh, please walk with me in this paper so that we can uh, share some two three things as we prepare our learners for the the kcp papers many times i've said that uh, the work under map reading learners should uh, answer questions very keenly because it is known as map reading and interpretation so you have to be very much careful on how you go through the map uh, reading and interpreting all the features in the map uh, today i want us to be somewhat faster because uh, we have limited time today i would like our lesson to take around 20 minutes and then from there i let my learners go so boys and girls who are listening to me or watching this one i like you that uh, you will take your time sit with a book so that we go through together well it is very help helping because uh, we it is our humble prayer that you perform come your kcpe um yeah, today we are going through going through the paper the paper comes from a, a, a material area and uh, as you can see uh, this is the title of the of the area and uh, we have uh, the campus very important we have uh, you can see the scale down here very important also we have the the key that contains all our features in the map please if we can go through them well there also we have the frame so the map has all the elements of uh, of the map and sometimes boys and girls be very much careful because sometimes they do draw the compass direction pointing uh, the towards the southern part then they name down here as the northern part of the map so you have to be very much careful when analyzing the map let's go through the map very fast we have uh, the river this is a river uh this is a river river leso you can see river leso which drains from uh, the forest this is the source of the river drains down the way to the Ndiwo swamp there is a swamp down here then um, we have what you call uh, uh you can see this is a mosque uh, this is the, the i think the, the the tea farm when you wave you can go to go through the uh, the key we have the tea farm yes so we have the tea farm here we have another mosque here so so far we have two mosques one towards the northeastern side of the map and uh, another one almost near the central region of the map these are the mosques we have the saw milling in the region so we can see that we have lumbering since we have the forest as the raw materials so we have lumbering as a, an economic activity we are also farming we have seen what you call the tea farming area we have uh, shops so we can see also we have um, a trading as an economic activity we have a uh, masumbo school so we can also say that we have a um, learning process all education activities conducted in the area we also have what you call uh, Uhuna School. We have uh, a bomb market. Um, we have uh, something like a, a, a sandy beat. A sandy beat means we have the mining site. And uh, sometimes boys and girls, we might be having what you call a bad on the quarry or exhausted quarry. It means that we are the mining, and by the moment now we don't have mining in the region. Uh, we have what you call the Tamaki Road, no, the, the railway line that it connects. Uh, uh, there is uh, the central region of the of, uh, of the area to what we call uh, there is a uh, SP. SP, when you go through the key, this is what you call the size of plantation. So we hope that the size of plantation we transport what you call the fiber from the farm to the uh, to the factory uh, uh, the central region of the of the map then we have what you call the flower farms you can see the flower farms in the map 
Alana's mostly when we have the flower farm, so we have an airstrip that transports flowers since flowers are perishable goods. They need the means of transport, which is very fast so that they can get to the market while very fresh. Um, we can say that uh, from the key, we have um, the forest. I think you have seen it. The forest is here. Then we have what you call the county, the count assembly. Uh, as for me, I can say that um, the count assembly, so Meitiro area is a, a count level since we have the count assembly. We have uh, scraps, scraps are found near the Swambe area. And uh, when you see the scraps around the region, scraps is a semi arid or a semi desert plant. We have the roll line, the tea plant, the chiefs camp, we have the huts police station for security purposes, the mosque, tea factory, so milling, the market road, we have the Maram road, the sub count offices, we have the temple, we have the post office. The post office is different from what you call the police station. The police station provides security and the post office, we use it for communication purposes. Then we have the flower farm. So we have seen what you call uh, the temple. The temple is somewhere here and uh, we saw it in the map. You can be asking maybe, um, most of the residents of Mitiro area, they are dominantly, uh, according to me here, and according to the map, we have the two mosques against one temple. So these are the Hindus, and uh, we have the uh, Muslims. So we can see this region, it is dominantly under the Muslim people. The, the southern part of the map, Ndiwa, Ndiwa area, uh, members maybe around this region, might be having some challenges like malaria infection since the swamps are good uh, breeding site of the uh, of the mosquitoes so the region is a county it is under the county governor uh, as the leader of the county and uh, the county commissioner the one who is in charge of what you call security um, at the county level then also we have what you call since now we have the county assembly the head of the county assembly is the county speaker and the county speaker boys and girls listen to me is being elected by the members of the house members of the county assembly because the speaker of the county assembly we call him or her an ex officio member of the county assembly the county speaker does not sit under the the county executive allow me to go through uh the map the questions very fast uh also the river Leso ends in an estuary, one channel, one channel. So you can see what you call um, a, a confluence where rivers meet. Uh, this is the source of the river. Sometimes they can ask you, the river rises from, I told my nanas yes, that uh, when we say rivers rises from or the land rises from, these are two different questions. And they mean opposite to one another. So we say the river rises from uh, the high area from the source, and the land rises from the lowland. So this land rises from the lowland, from the southern part of the map, but the river rises from the northwestern side of the map. So the river rises from the source, and the map rises from the from the lowland. The first question here: uh, which one, which is the direction of the airstrip from the tea factory? Direction, boys and girls, about the question about uh, direction. That it, it, it is something that you, so nobody should miss the question. So the, what you do, you come and uh, and draw the compass direction, a big one, or that covers the three quarters of the map. Then from there, you answer the question: What is the direction? Uh, of the airstrip from the tea factory airstrip from the tea factory airstrip from the tea factory so when you come downwards it is towards the north the south and the west the southwest the answer is there very correct the residents of material area dominantly i said when we were doing the issue of map reading that um, we have two mosques and one temple so it is under the muslims and the pagans, these are members who doesn't have any religion. The traditionalists, they worship in shrines. Um, the settlement pattern practiced in the material area can be uh, described as a material area. You can see what is happening here. We say uh, this is what you call clustered in groups, clustered. And if it is nucleated, they must settle on one side of the map. 
For example, this is the map. Then they settle either towards the southern part of the map, the western side of the map, or the northeastern part of the map. But now you can see they are here. They are here. We have them here also, and we have uh, another settlement. So we can say this is what you call clustered. Which, uh, which one of the four economic activities is least likely to be carried out in the area? Least likely. Tourism, we said, because we have what you call an airstrip. And mostly under map reading, the tourists are being uh, uh, lifted from one place to another uh, through airstrip. So we ca we were likely to have that one. We have for literature, I saw things like flower farms. Of course, yes. Then we have fishing. Fishing, we have the swamp. We have trading, we have the market. So the answer comes fishing. Uh, which pair of African rivers has a feature that... Uh, um the one found at the mouth of river leso in the map the feature the question is which pair of uh, african rivers has a feature as the one found at the mouth of the river i said here this is an estuary river so when we go through the answers river sambezi and estuary of course river nile a delta river senegal it forms a uh, forms uh, um, an estuary river Sambezi forms a, so we have Sambezi and the Senegal Congo forms an estuary and the river Nile forms a, del, uh, a delta so the answer is Senegal and the river Sambezi which of these factors shows the southern part of Mitiro area receives little rain for we said the presence of these vegetation vegetations we we call them um, these are scraps the scraps are here and once you see the scraps uh, indicates that the climate of the region uh, is very 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 poor so the presence the presence of the scraps as per the question which of the following shows that the southern part of the material area receives little rainfall we have um, uh, the presence of the scraps we said the, the issue of the swamp poor drainage system the sand pit we have what you call mining and the presence of the rail line that transports what you call the siso from the other side uh, to the factory or the central region of the map. The question number seven goes like this. Uh, number seven, the question is here, number seven, says that um, a thief was caught as he tried to break into a shop at the Obama market. What will be the best action for the residents to, to do? And in fact, once somebody has been arrested, we take the person to the police station. Arrest him and take him to the nearest law courts Answer A, it is not the work of the residents to take somebody, a suspected criminal, to the courts. The work of the residents, it is to arrest, then from there, take the person to the police, then from there, the police will prepare what you call the church sheet, and they take them to the judicial system for punishment. And uh, let us remember one thing, the three arms of the government, the legislature, judiciary, and executive, executive do implement the law no executive do uh, explain all uh, give the meaning of the, of, of the laws of the kenyan constitution once somebody has been arrested as about the kenyan constitution somebody has been found guilty you are being taken now to the prison the prison department in kenya they are being headed by the commissioner of the prison and the main work of the prison to convict the criminals is to rehabilitate the characters of these men and the women so take him to the nearest police station then from there the police will prepare them to go to court then from court they'll be punished as by the Kenyan constitution then from there somebody is being taken to the uh to the to the prison for or to serve the the, the jail terms which of the following is the main uh which of the following is the main problem facing uh, most of the pastoral communities in Africa, we said we have what called long periods without rain. The cattle rustling is one of the of the uh, the challenges. But remember the question: we have a certain word here. The key word is which of the following is the main. So among this given here, the cattle rustling, we have livestock parasites and diseases. Long period of uh, without uh, rain, we have attacks by wild animals. All these are challenges facing what you call pastoral farming. But long periods without rainfall or drought, or we can say prolonged drought is the major problem. A group of people who are able to trace their or common forefather from 
um, uh, forms the clan and each set. These are members uh, formed from more than one age group. And remember, an age group, these are members who are born and initiated almost at the same time. The community, we share the common interest, the family members related by either, we say uh, marriage, especially our parents, marriage. Then parents to children, we have what you call um, blood, then also adoption. So the clan, these are members who share all the traits, the, uh, their common forefather from uh, the same region, the clans. Uh, the following achievements of a certain hominid, hominid, now we are under the people and the population in the grade 8. He had an upright posture. I told learners, this question must be, be very much careful. It may be tested in an exam come uh, November this year. He had an upright posture. Uh, of course, as we know, we have the evolution of human beings. Uh, which was uh, done by um, a certain scientist or archaeologist known as uh, Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin, the one who came with the evolution theory and he came with the different stages. One of the stages we had what he called the Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, the Homo sapiens sapiens. Homo erectus, or Homo habilis simply means, the first one Homo habilis means the handy human beings. They were using the thumb to hold the things tightly. Then we had the Homo erectus, whom we call the upright man. Upright man, now the so-called, he had an upright posture. And under the Homo erectus, they discovered what he called fire. You can see this being, being captured here. Discovered fire and um, speech. The first remains were discovered at Olivai Gorge in Tanzania in Tanzania. So the answer here becomes Homo erectus. Which one of the foreign religious institutions of marriage is purely monogamous? Purely monogamous. According to the answers given here, boys and girls, you can also see, we have civil marriage, we have Islamic marriage, we have a Christian marriage, customary marriage. The civil marriage is a, is a monogamy, is a polygamy. It was done through a parliamentary act. Initially it was a, a monogamy, but now members of parliament they changed it through an act of parliament. Now, civil marriage is a, a polygamy. Islamic is a, a polygamy. They have, uh, according to the uh, the Quran, they have been given um, what you call um, uh, a right to mal, to mal a, a limited number of wives, up to four. Christianity, it is purely monogamous. Monogamous means a ratio of one wife to one husband. Then customary marriage, mostly done in traditional, and it was purely a, a, a polygamy. Remember, traditionally, somebody could be given either a post of the village elder, depending on the number of kids and the largeness of the family. So they were considering that if you have a big family, so you have responsible, you can take care of the village. Uh, Christian marriage was conducted, or is conducted by the religious leaders and also remember we have the islamic also religious leaders but uh we have civil marriage which is done by the government officer and under civil marriage we give what you call a notice of um 21 days or uh, three weeks and we also have what you call the marriage bans we have this word known as uh marriage uh the marriage married marriage Marriage bans, this one, marriage bans, it means the announcements that are being made from the office. And remember, this one, it is being conducted in the government office by a government officer, either the magistrate, the attorney general, or uh, can it be uh, the, chief, uh, uh, the chief justice. Uh, we have this question here. This question, this is question number... Um, Number 12, uh, the diagram below represents a weather instrument. So we have the vacuum, 76 centimeters. We have air. Uh, then uh, a question comes like this. What will happen to the level of mercury when the above instrument is placed at the beach, at the beach of the Indian Ocean? Remember, this is what you call um, a barometer. And the barometer measures what you call atmospheric pressure. 
are the beach because that's the sea level we always have the high uh, pressure at the sea level so the mercury will do what the mercury will uh, will drop the mercury will drop in the vacuum uh, the following are conditions which favors a growth of a certain crop high rainfall of between 1250 millimeters to 1650 millimeters well drained and the fertile uh, uh, fat acidic the water acidic goes to tea so you can see tea somewhere there and of course 15 degrees celsius and 22 a cool temperatures high amount of rainfall high altitude uh, which one of the following sets of communities belong to the Kushites? In Tanzania, we have Almarik, we have Iraq, Sandawe, and Mbegu. These are members in Tanzania. In Tanzania, the following are features of a certain economic zone in Africa. It is it is found in the high veld region. This is what you call the temperate, not Marquias. Marquias is um, Mediterranean, and all Alpine Alpine is uh, mountain vegetation. So. The very region, this one unlined here, this is a temperate kind of a, um, of, a, of, a, of a climate. The road design, the above road design in a structure, the motelist, this is a, we classify this one as a, a warning road design. It is under a triangle shape, then we have the circle shape under the regulatory and the, and the rectangle under the informatory. So, this is a warning road design means caution so you proceed with the great care or great caution or be careful this is a warning road sign it is means danger the time in the embo 15 degree east is uh, uh, 6 a.m what time will it be at remiko along long to 75 degrees celsius what we have done here we have drawn the three longitudes this is the uh, if I can do it somewhere so that my learners can see this is what we are going to use to do this one I say the first thing you draw what you call the long tubes through draw three long tubes because the influence time then we have zero degrees the western side and the eastern side of the prime meridian come to the question the time in Embo 15 degree east, I assume this is my 15 degree east in Embo. The time is 6.00 a.m. Uh, what, 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 what time will it be at Ramekal along long to 75 degrees east? So I will add another one here at the far end. This is my 75 degree east. So the first, this is east east. The first thing what you do, the degree difference. So we have seventy five degrees. Take away fifteen degrees. What we get here is sixty degrees. Then we say one degree is equals to four minutes. What about uh, um, uh, sixty degrees? How many minutes? We cross multiply. So this is sixty degrees by four minutes. Then we have divided by sixty one degree. This one, this one goes. Those will remain with the sixty. Uh, times 4 what we get it is 240 minutes then divided by 60 to convert into hours so minutes and minutes goes 60 dice 1 it comes here uh, 4 times so we have 4 hours you come to your question so if somebody was asked the time from this longitude of 15 to 75 it is found on the eastern side of the prime meridian so what we do all countries on the west on the eastern side of the prime meridian that I hide in terms of hours. We also we say 600 we add the four hours. What do you get here? 00, 10, 00. Can we come here? The time here is 6 a.m. So here the time comes uh the time comes here 10 00 a.m. 10 00 a.m. The answer is somewhere there. The following the following uh, Kenyans were arrested by the British government government on 20th October 1952. Who was not? Fred Kubai was among the members. Paul Longe, of course. James James Gishur was not arrested. Bilia Dikagia, Ajenga Neko, Kunkarumba, Kenyatta, all those members were arrested in 1952. 
when the state of emergency was declared by Sir Evelyn Barin in Kenya. And during the state of emergency, all political activities in Kenya were banned. So these members were arrested and they were detained at the Kapenguria. That's why we call them the Six Kap uh, Kapenguria. A pachan is an erosional feature likely to be found uh, in the desert. A pachan looks like this. A pachan looks like this. A pachan looks like this, like a trolling kind of a method. This is a pachan. It is a wind uh, activity done all occurs uh, in the desert. Then we have what we call the sand dunes. The sand dunes, uh, they look like this. Then the sand dunes. Sand dunes. This is a, a, a pachan. Then we have what you call an oasis. Oasis, remember an oasis, this is the fertile land uh, in the desert. Boys and girls, for those few remarks, allow me to answer the last question. Morocco is currently headed by who? Morocco is a, is a monarchy. It is under the kingship. So Morocco is under the hereditary uh, kings. There is a... Uh, something down here. This is land. Land. See, you can see air from the sea. We have rainfall. This is land. So we can say this is it is it is a convectional rainfall that takes place where we have uh, the lowlands, the lowlands or near large water bodies. Can we see the question? Yes. The above feature represents the formation of a convectional rainfall, of course. Yes. So you can see it is near. Um, a large water body, it is an ocean, it is a lake. So be very much careful, boys and girls. This is land, this is land, this is land near a large water body. This is a sea, so it is a convectional rainfall. Uh, the above feature is likely to be experienced in in the following areas in Africa, except I told learners Kambala, Accra in Ghana, found near the Atlantic Ocean, the La Salam Indian Ocean, Ocean, and the Mwanza near Lake Victoria. So Kambala is a town found on seven hills known as Imbala. Imbala in Uganda. Imbala in Uganda. Imbala uh, in Uganda. So boys and girls, allow me today that um, let us uh, wind up a lesson, our lesson today. For the last lesson, question number 23, rivers form similar features at their mouth. Zambezi, Senegal, and the Congo, they form an estuary. River Nile forms what you call um, a delta river Nile forms um, uh, forms a delta. Which of the following is true about the equatorial vegetation? It consists of tall trees and climbing trees. Of course, yes. It consists of thick, huge trees and thick undergrowth. Yes. It consists of thorny bushes and short grasses. It consists of tall trees which forms a canopy and a baobab. So this one is odd one out, not a baobab. This is a savanna, not under the equatorial. So the answer is supposed to be. The answer is D. Um, the following are statements of a population structure of a certain country. The majority of the people are aged. This is German. There is high life expectance of expectance of 85 in German. In India is 65. In Kenya is 55. Uh, the dependence ratio is low, of course, in German, and the birth rate is minimal. This is German. This is German alone, not German. Kenya and India, we have so many, but German and Kenya, German, we have so very few members, Kenya, so many people, and India, India and Kenya, we have similar. But remember, Kenya and German, we are slightly more females than males, but in India, we have more males than females. The leading cocoa producer country in Africa is Cote d'Ivoire, but if, uh, initially, it was introduced into Ghana. Then later, uh, during the administration of the British in Ghana, the members in Ghana were advised to trim all to cut down the cocoa trees that are infected. So uh, as we speak at the moment, cocoa in Ghana, cocoa in Ghana, Ghana is not the reading. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire is the reading producer of uh, what you call um, uh, cocoa in, in, in Africa. The following are facts about a, a certain mineral. It is mined on the floor of the Rift Valley, of course, is the leading export. The leading export in Kenya is soda ash. 
and also used for treading water and softening water in the cooking oil finally. So this is soda ash. Um, which of the foreign countries is close to much with this capital city? Zimbabwe, it is Harare, Sierra Leone, Freetown, South Africa, we have Cape Town, Liberia, we have Monrovia. Not Maseru, Maseru is for a Soto, Maseru is for a Soto. The foreign countries are members of the Comesa uh, and uh, Sadiq, except uh, Namibia with the three, Malawi is a member of Sadiq, uh, DLC Congo, uh, we also we have what he called the Seychelles and uh, Sadiq. So Namibia is both a member of um, was a member of Sadiq and um, uh, and and the Comesa and the, and the Comesa. And uh, finally, which one of the following multipurpose projects along River Tana produces the greatest amount of hydroelectric power? Uh, Kindaruma was the first one to be. Uh, uh, initiated by the government um, in 1968, then we have Gitaro is the largest that produces the megawatts of 200 megawatts, 200 megawatts, boys and girls, 200 megawatts, boys and girls. Then we have what you call uh, uh, which one of the following statements is true about the forestry in Switzerland? They are partly owned by the government. Uh, it is true. Swaziland, they are partly owned by the government, especially the um, the Great Usutu. Great Usutu, the largest forest, the largest planted forest in Africa, uh, only owned partly by the government and the private uh, private company. Trees are mainly harvested by clear by clear cutting method. We have uh, trees are mainly used to make expensive high quality furnitures. Trees mainly consist of the pines and the cypress. So we consider answer A and the answer answer d for those few remarks for today i wish you well candidates for listening to me and as we prepare for the kcp papers uh come the end of this year please let us uh, prepare adequately enough so that we can do uh we can achieve the highest marks uh possible i wish you well we meet in the next uh, uh lesson uh shalom shalom shalom